Hi, I'm Brad Pfeffer from Sugar Research Australia. In this cane clip, we're going to talk to Joe Benassi. He's an agricultural engineer at SRA, and he's going to explain to us the chopper test rig. This is a stationary replica of a modern harvester. So a feed train and chopper setup. Um, obviously with a few tweaks, a few holes where there shouldn't be holes, but that gives us the ability to have a better look at the system. Um, the chopper box sits separate to the rest of the feed train. That gives us the ability to obviously firstly change out chopper drums quite easily, but secondly to have those load pins on the four corners measuring the forces that are present. It gives us the ability to take all the excuses out of the trawl. So we take all the variability out of the field. Um, we don't have to wait around for harvesters. We don't have to wait for haul outs and look at bins and things like that. Um, when things change on the data, when things change on the mass balance, we know it's because of something we've changed here because we're controlling everything. Um, yeah, so it gives us the ability to purely look at this part of the harvester to decrease those losses because um, trials in the past with the test rig as well as what's seen out in the field indicate anywhere from 2 to 8% weight loss purely from the feed train and chopper system. The week sort of rolls out in that we get the cane ready so we go out and bring it back to the shed so cut as a whole stalk, strip it, bundle it so that we know what we exactly what we're putting in and that gives us the ability to do the mass balance afterwards. Um, so get all the treatments ready, get all the weights ready, um, make sure all the sensors and all the data acquisitions running how we want it, give the motor a bit of a, a bit of a run and then we come in early on the next day and start getting through the process. So when we're actually testing the drums we will have everyone do their job so we'll have a station set up with the billet quality and billet variability over there so we're taking lengths and looking at sound damage mutilated um, seeing how the drums work in that fashion and then at the same time we'll have people looking at the mass balance side of things so we'll get the weights on the day because we know they change overnight and then taking the sub samples afterwards so it'll catch in the hopper behind into a furt bag so we know exactly what we've lost um, yeah it's a, it's a big process that we go through about two and a half tons of cane individually each time. So that's taking about, so the current footage that we've got playing is about a thousand frames per second and that gives you a really good um, vision of that interaction between the choppers and the stalk of, and the bundle of cane. So that's obviously footage you'll never get to see without this sort of technology. Um, it gives us the ability to see when things are running nice and smoothly and how they should be instead of different uh, factors within the feed train and chopper system working against, e against each other to increase loss and uh, how your machine performs as well. It's a, it's a big adoption tool as well because you'll never get to see, you'll never get to be t this close to this process on a harvester. Um, it gives us the ability to purely look at feed train and choppers without the influence of everything else and with all the gates and everything set up how it is it allows us to get close with also being safe at the same time. Um, yeah, it gives growers, contractors, millers the ability to get in there, have a touch, have a feel, see what, see how wet, see how sticky everything is, see how damaged the billets are, and you can tell that it's 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 only from this process because we've controlled all of the factors. Photos and videos don't really do it justice until you're standing here and you feel it shaking the foundations and you you see that it is pretty representative of how mean and tough a real harvester is. 